Alright, hello everyone and welcome to my first video. This is going to be a tutorial for Dave's redistricting app on how to combine multiple maps into a single map. Now I've got some that I've already done here for something I'm working on and if I open this map you can see what a finished product might look like. So you have these different maps on here. You can combine them. You have to put them into whatever map mode you want but we'll get to that in a minute and you can combine as many as you want as far as I know you can only do one per state but you can do all of this and combine them together and I'm gonna show you how so if we go back to our menu here the first thing we're going to do is create a map called base map I'm just gonna call it base map 2 you can call it whatever you want uh, I recommend putting the state as either Hawaii or Alaska, and the reason for this is just so that, uh, like, the precincts don't get in your way of looking at the other maps. If you're planning to do Hawaii and Alaska, then just set it to Hawaii and do Hawaii on this map. But if you're not planning to and you're just planning to do, like, the lower 48 or some sections, say, like, you're doing New England, then you can just set it to Hawaii and ignore that. So now what you're going to do, you're going to go back and you're going to create some map. Let's say I want to create a map of Arizona. And let's say I want it three districts. I'm just going to name it AZ. This is just a map that I can import once I'm finished with it. So just duh, do this and do this. So we have our first map. Obviously this isn't an actual map I'd use, but this is good enough for the purposes of our demonstration. So you want to make sure you either select map colors or partisan lean depending on what you want. And you want to have district lines on if you want that. As far as I know, none of these other options are imported. It's just whether you have map colors or partisan lean and if you have district lines on or off. So then what you want to do is you want to go up to this arrow here called export map and you want to go and export as district district shapes as GeoJSON and what that will do is it will open a new tab and download this file which is just a thing that is a shape file for the districts. So now if I go and do a second map let's say of Illinois and I want that to have four districts. So we're gonna make that map as well and these are just quick maps that I'm assembling it doesn't matter like any particular thing about the map you can import basically any map I'm pretty sure it works with DC as well which they added recently don't know why I'm doing this with precinct lines on I never use precinct lines they're cluttery and messy anyway uh, I'm just gonna use this to fill this bottom area in because that's a lot of counties it does lag the recording a little but That's because it's lagging my computer. Okay, get this done. Probably should have picked a state with less counties like I did with Arizona. But okay, there's our second map. So again, we're going to export uh, as GeoJSON. I forgot to name this one. It's not really important to name them. You can end up deleting them later if you want. So export that. And then if we go down here and open our base map, what you want to do is you want to zoom out first and you want to go over to this side and to your custom overlays tab. Now here I've already imported a bunch for the other map. You're going to click import new and then choose file. And you're going to choose district shapes one, which is our Arizona map. You can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it this so that I can keep it distinct later. And then that will pop up alphabetically here, so it will appear right here. And you want to click this little checkbox and then click apply. The map will appear and you have three options here. Toggle lines, toggle fill, and toggle labels. Labels are the district uh, numbers, if you change the names of them, they will also be names. 
Uh, that is just the colors that you selected. You can toggle those on or off, and then this is the district lines. So you can also toggle those on or off. So you can enable and disable it for each state you have. So let's do the same for our Illinois map, which is District Shapes 2. Import overlay, and it will appear alphabetically here. Apply, and Illinois will appear, and you'll see we can disable the color for Illinois and disable the lines for Arizona, and they still stay on the other. So yeah, that is how you create a map with multiple different maps merged into it in Dave's redistricting app. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.